Hi, and welcome to this part three of our drag and drop inventory tutorial. In this video, we are creating the drag and drop operation. So we can actually pick up a uh, inventory tile and drop it on other tiles. Let's get started. Open the inventory folder, right click on the inventory tile and say duplicate. I'm going to rename it to inventory tile underscore DD. The next thing we're going to do is create a blueprint class. Search for drag drop operation. I'm going to rename it to BP underscore inventory underscore DD. Open the blueprint. We're going to create two variables here. The first one will be our index. The variable type will be a integer and make sure editable and expose and spawn are true. The next thing we are going to create is our inventory which will be our inventory structure. And make sure editable and expose and spawn are checked to true. Compile, save and close the blueprint. Now we will go to our inventory tile widget. Go to the graph. The first thing we're gonna create is a on mouse button down override function. Disconnect the return node. and search for detect drag if pressed. The mouse event will be the pointer event. Make sure the drag key is set to your left mouse button and connect the return node. The next override function we will create is on drag canceled. So if our drag is canceled, we are gonna get all widgets of class. The widget will be our inventory widget. We're gonna get a copy and set grid. The next override function we will create is a on drag detected. Disconnect the return node. We're gonna get our inventory. I'm gonna split this structure. And from quantity, say is bigger than. I'm gonna create a branch, connect it to the condition. We're gonna to go to our set tile, copy this top part, so control C, go back to the on drag detect it and control V to paste. Connect this to the true output. The next thing we are gonna add is a create widget node. The class will be our inventory tile uh, DD. We're gonna get our index, we're gonna get our inventory, connect that to the create widget. And the next thing we are gonna add is a drag, that's not it, create drag, create drag and drop operation. The return value will be the drag visual. We're gonna copy and paste our inventory and our index. The class will be our inventory blueprint. Connect the index and the inventory. Go all the way to the left and we're going to get our return node and connect that to the create blueprint. Now compile and save. If we now play the level, we're going to pick up everything. We can't drag and drop empty tiles, but we can actually drag and drop the tiles that have something in them. The next thing we are going to create is a on drop event or function. Disconnect the return node. And the first thing we are gonna create is a cost to BP underscore inventory underscore DD. The operation will be the object. We're gonna get our index and we're gonna get our inventory. And we're going to promote these two to a local variable. The index will be index DD. 
and the infantry will be infantry GT. Let's connect all these nodes. We're going to get our index ID integer and our index, and we're going to check if they're the same. So are they equal to each other? I'm going to create a branch. Connect this to the condition. And if they are equal, then we are going to say cancel, drag and drop. And if they are not equal to each other, we are going to say cast to BP underscore third person character. We are going to get our player character. We're going to say get component by class and select the top one. The component will be our inventory component. We're going to promote this to a local variable. I'm going to rename it to comp inventory ref. And we're going to create another reference for our inventory uh, widget. So get all widgets of class. The class will be our inventory. We're going to get a copy. And we're going to say promote to local variable. And this will be our W inventory reference or ref. We're going to create a branch. We're going to get our inventory. I'm going to split the structure. And we're going to check if the quantity while we're dropping on is zero or not. If that's true, so if we are dropping on a empty tile, we are going to set array element. We're going to get our component inventory reference. We're going to get our inventory array. Connect this to the target array. The index will be the index DD. And the item, we are going to leave that blank. We're going to create another set array element node. We're going to copy and paste the inventory array, connect that to the target array. And the index will be our own index. And the item, that will be our inventory DD. We're going to get our widget inventory reference. We're going to say set grid. And go all the way to the left. Copy our return node and paste it after the set grid and make sure the return value is set to true. So now if we compile, save and play, I'm going to pick up everything. We can drop on empty tiles now but we can't drop on tiles that already have something in them. So let's go back to the inventory tile. From this branch, from the false output, we're going to create another branch. We're going to get our inventory and split the structure. We're going to get the inventory DD and split that one as well. And we are going to check if those are um, if those have the same name. And we are going to check if their, uh, if the quantity is less than the max stack. We're going to create a and boolean and connect it to the condition of the branch. If that's true, we are going to create a for loop. We are going to get our inventory. I'm going to split the structure. 
from quantity say subtract and the max stack will actually be the top one and quantity will be the bottom one connect this to the last index if the for loop is done we are going to get our widget inventory reference set grid and we're going to copy and paste the return node and connect that to the set grid from our loop body we are going to create a branch we're going to get our component inventory reference we're going to get the inventory array we're going to get the inventory dd and from the array we're going to get a copy and the inventory dd should be our index dd of course connect that to the index from our copied inventory split the structure And we are going to do actually the same for our uh, own index. Copy and paste this part. Say get copy. And this index will be our own index. And split this structure. We're going to check if our quantity is not equal to the max stack. And we're going to check if this quantity is uh, not equal to zero. We're going to create a AND boolean and connect it to the condition of the branch. From true output, we are going to create a set array element node. We're going to copy and paste the inventory array. That will be our target array. The index will be our index DD. We are going to copy and paste this top part. We are going to split the item from the array element and name goes to name, image to image, max stack to max stack and the quantity we're going to sub subtract one, so minus one. And we are going to create another set array element. Copy and paste the inventory array connect it to the target array the index will be our own index we're going to split the item we're going to copy and paste the inventory array we're going to get a copy the index will be our own index I'm going to split this one like name to name, image to image, and max stack to max stack. And the quantity, we're going to add one. So plus one. Connect that to the item quantity. The next thing we will create is a, another branch. We are going to copy and paste this first part. And we are going to check if the quantity is zero. And if it is zero, we're going to say set array element. Copy and paste the inventory array and connect it to the target array. The index will be the 
index DD and we're going to leave the item blank. Let's compile and save. And what we actually can do now is drop um, inventory items with the same name on each other. But if it is something different, then we can't actually swap those. So let's create that. From the false output of this branch, I'm going to say set array element. We are going to get our component reference. We're going to get our inventory array. And that will be our target array. The index will be our index DD. And the item will be our own inventory. We're going to set array element. And we're going to do the same with the inventory array. Uh, but this time the index will be our own index and the item will be the inventory DD. We're going to copy and paste the set grid and return node, connect that to the set array element. Compile, save, and let's go back, let's to, go the back to the level. Let's pick up all our collectibles. And now we can grab cube one, drop it on cube two, and actually swap those two. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. I will see you guys for part four.